out here at Lilydale Oval for Club Corner, and I'm with Ashraf Davies. Ashraf, you're in seventh spot. You've uh, got a better percentage in the fifth place to South Croydon. You're still a chance. Do you think you can make finals? Yeah, I do, actually. We're pretty confident going into these last four games. Three ones we really think we should win, including this week against Knox. And uh, Noel Park back here, we're hoping they rest up for finals and we can get them as well. So. And six wins, eight losses. How do you judge the season so far? Really good. You know, second year back in the first of year, really improved on last year. Lost a couple of good players as well with Chris Shaw and O'Keefe and people said we weren't going to do much good and I think we surprised a few people. And remaining games you've got, as you mentioned, Knox, Scoresby, East Burwood and Noble Park finally at home. Knox this week, they're a bit of a tough side. How confident of the win are you coming up? Yeah, we got them pretty easily earlier in the year and if you, they play that sort of press, that if you can get through that though, I think we should be able to win. <laughs> Couple of boys just taking the Mickey here, and uh, look, yeah, of course you've uh, you've lost five games in a row now against Roval, Borwin, and South Croydon, Norwood, and Vermont. Is there something you can put your finger on as to why that is? I mean, they're obviously tough opposition. Yeah, it would have been Robbie Allen, James Roach, and the Breeze brothers going overseas. I think that's you know they're probably four of our top six players out, out of your side. So if the Breeze brothers and didn't go overseas, I think it would have been a lot different. And, Hopefully it doesn't cost us come September. Now, Robbie Allen's gone for the season. Is he with Bree, the Breeze brothers are back? Yeah, both Ryan and Daniel are back. So, But we don't get Robbie back, which is unfortunate. But I think he's enjoying himself at the moment. So, and, uh, The Breeze brothers, they played in the game before the split round. How, how did they go? Sort of take a little while to get back enough for a bit of a sojourn? Or? Yeah, I think it took a while for Daniel Breeze to <laughs> um, not run under the football. But nah, it was all right. They'll, they'll be right this week, I think. And the week off, you mentioned you had a bit of an injury. How was that for you and for the boys to freshen up to hit finals hard? Yeah, really good. Really needed it because we've got a lot of uh, under-18 boys in the side as well. So they went back against Vermont and they beat the under-18s beat Vermont. So we get them back. So they would love the week, the young boys. So. And, uh, you've had players, I think, like Kane Quilty. You may have played a couple of games. Uh, Tommy Rourke as well. I think Jake Taylor's also a young player. How's, uh, how's, how have they been in the side? I know Jakey's been in the side for a long time now, but those young players, are they really getting in well? Yeah, no, they're going really well. Jake Taylor's proven himself to be a real good senior footballer. and Yeah, I think Kyle Mars and under 19 as well. And I think Tom and Kyle have played 12 games or something with us now, so they've cemented their spot well. A couple of years, they'll be guns at the comp, so... And uh, you've, you yourself, you kicked six goals this season in the 14 games. How have you judged your season? Uh, been a bit of a bad season, injuries and goal kicking. So I th would have kicked three times as many points. So <laughs> hopefully I can start kicking them straight in the finals. Well, that's right. We appreciate your time here on Club Corner. Good luck for this week in the remaining four games this year. No worries. Thank you.